in this video, we are going to learn about how people can make things move, like how this boy is moving these magnets. Cool, huh? We are going to be talking about two forces that move objects. These forces are called push and pull. You use these two forces every single day. That's right. We want to help you know the difference between a push and a pull and how to identify them so you know exactly how you are moving the objects around you. First, a rope. Yeah. Not very exciting, not super exciting, it's just a rope, sitting there. But have you ever played this game before? Now, all of a sudden, we're having lots of fun, aren't we? <laughs> what is this game called? Yes, Tug of War. Yeah, Tug of War is a game that is played all over the world, and was even played in ancient Egypt and ancient China. In tug of war, you want to move the rope toward you until you've won. It's all about moving the rope. Applying force on an object toward you is a pull. Pulls bring objects toward you. That's what a pull is. Here the children are pulling on the rope. They are moving the object toward them. They're moving the rope toward them, aren't they? So, what are pushes? Well, a push is the opposite. Pushes move objects away from you. Can you say that with us? Pushes move objects away from you. Fantastic. Wow, do you know what this girl is doing? Uh-huh, she's building a snowman. But she is just getting started. Whoa, look how big this snowball has gotten. She is using force to move the ball away from her. These are called pushes. She is pushing the snow along. Here's another push. This boy is pushing this girl in a car. <laughs> pushing can be hard work. The difference between a push and a pull is in the direction it is going. A push moves an object away from you. A pull moves an object toward you. You try now. Is this a push or a pull? Yes, a pull, because they applied force to move the rack toward them. This is a pull. Okay, so we're... We're just gonna watch them load up dishes, huh? Okay, this is getting gross. Okay, uh-oh, is there more? Oh, this, oh, we can't even see. Oh, there's a crumb there, we can't even see. Oh, don't close the door. Don't shut us inside the dishwasher, don't. Ah! Ah! All right, let's try another one that got a little intense. Am I pushing or pulling? Is this a push or a pull? Notice, I have to keep walking to keep up with it. So the direction of this action is away from me. Yes, this is an example of push. I am pushing a shopping cart in the woods for some reason. Remember, the difference between a push and a pull is in the direction it is going. A push moves an object away from you. A pull moves an object toward you. Okay, here's another one. Did he just push or pull this button? Yeah, he pushed it. He would be here a long time if he tried to pull it. He moved the object away from him, the button. And he's got a cool hat. Where's he going? What is he doing? Who knows? Speaking of pushing, the keys on a computer are also pushed. You move the key away from you, pushing down, which lets the computer know which letter, number, or function you would like to use on the computer. Thankfully, the key returns to its normal place, ready to be pushed again. All right, let's try one more example. Which type of force is this boy applying to the sled? Push or pull? Yes, pull. He is bringing the object toward himself. Great job. Push and pull are two forces we use to move objects. But how do we know the difference between a push and a pull? 
The difference between a push and a pull is in the direction it is going. A push moves an object away from you. A pull moves an object toward you. Special thanks to our patrons who make videos like this possible. If you would like to support us and get cool homeschool pop tattoos, click the link below this video or visit homeschoolpop.com. As always, you are awesome. We hope to see you next video.